Welcome to AI Talk, where we demystify the concepts of artificial intelligence in a way that everyone can grasp. In this quick dive, we're shining a light on the softmax function, a brilliant piece of math that's crucial in AI decision-making. It's the tool that transformers use to turn attention scores into probabilities, helping these models pinpoint the most relevant information. Simple yet powerful, the softmax function is a key to smarter AI. Stay tuned as we make sense of this essential math, no matter your expertise level. Before we begin, let's set the stage with a simple question. How do we make choices? Whether it's picking a dessert or selecting a route home, our brains calculate the odds and make a decision. In AI, the softmax function is the brain behind these choices. What is the softmax function? Imagine you're balancing your options on a set of scales. The softmax function is like these scales for AI, helping it weigh options and decide which is most likely the best choice. The magic of transformation. The softmax function transforms our scores into probabilities. It's like turning up the volume on your favorite song. The higher the score, the louder it plays, making it clear which one is your top pick. Why softmax? In the race of decision-making, softmax ensures each option stays in its lane, contributing to a total probability of 100%. It's the fair judge that gives each option a chance based on its merit. The principle of amplification. One key aspect of the softmax function is its ability to amplify differences. It takes the raw scores and applies an exponential function, which makes higher scores significantly higher and lower scores much smaller. This amplification helps in making a clear distinction when choosing the most probable outcome. Why use softmax in classification? In classification tasks, where the goal is to identify the correct category out of many, the softmax function plays a crucial role. It ensures that the predicted probabilities are interpretable and sum up to one, which is essential for comparing and selecting the most likely category. The function's tendency to amplify differences is particularly useful here because it helps the model to be decisive, even when the differences in raw scores are minimal. The analogy with sports. The sports analogy aims to illustrate the concept of being decisive. In a close race, even a tiny difference can determine the winner. Similarly, Softmax takes even small differences in raw scores and makes them more pronounced, ensuring that the most likely outcome stands out, just as a winner does in a race. In summary, Softmax is not about eliminating the weak, but about ensuring that the strongest candidate stands out in a decision-making process, much like a photo finish in a race highlights the winner, even if by a small margin. Real-world applications. From predicting the weather to recommending your next favorite song, the softmax function is the unsung hero in the background, making AI services smarter and more reliable. Let's delve into how the softmax function aids in making decisions, such as determining the necessity of an umbrella based on weather forecasts. Consider a prediction model that assigns raw scores to three potential weather scenarios for tomorrow, sunny, rainy, and cloudy. For example, the scores could be one for sunny, five for rainy, and three for cloudy. These scores are derived from various factors such as humidity, temperature, and wind. However, most people are more concerned with the practical implications, like whether they should take an umbrella. The softmax function steps in to convert these scores into probabilities. It assigns a low probability to sunny because it has the lowest score, a high probability to rainy due to its highest score, and a medium probability to cloudy. After applying the softmax function, the probabilities might look something like this. Sunny, less than 2% chance. Rainy, about 87% chance. Cloudy, more than 11% chance. With this information, you now have a clear understanding. There's an 87% chance of rain tomorrow. This simplifies your decision-making process. Given the high likelihood of rain, it would be wise to carry an umbrella. In essence, the softmax function has transformed complex weather data into a straightforward probability providing a clear and actionable piece of advice. It's more insightful than raw scores alone because it directly addresses the question of how likely each weather condition is. To summarize, the softmax function acts as a translator, converting technical weather scores into practical advice, thus aiding you in preparing for the day ahead without the need to comprehend the intricate meteorological data. Chapter nine and three quarters, the enchanted mathematics of the softmax function. 
Welcome to a special chapter of AI Talk, where we step into the magical world of mathematics to uncover the secrets behind the softmax function. Just like the spells in Harry Potter's universe, the softmax function has its own enchanting properties that allow it to perform wonders in the realm of artificial intelligence. The exponential spell, e to the power of x. In the world of mathematics, there's a spell so powerful that it can transform mere numbers into a force of probabilities. This spell is the exponential function, denoted as e to the power of x. The number e is an irrational constant approximately equal to 2.7 and 8, and when raised to the power of any value, it creates an exponential growth that's swift and significant. Why is this spell so crucial? Because it ensures that every option, no matter how unlikely, gets a chance to shine. It amplifies the differences between choices, making it clear which paths hold the most promise. The Cauldron of Probabilities, Normalization. Once the exponential spell has been cast, we gather the results into a cauldron, stirring them together to create a potion of probabilities. This process is called normalization, and it's what gives us a probability distribution that adds up to a perfect one, just like the unity of the four Hogwarts houses. The Shapeshifting Curve. The softmax function is like a shapeshifter, taking on the form needed to guide us through the forest of decisions. It starts off as a gentle slope, where differences are small and probabilities are similar. But as the scores increase, the function rises sharply, highlighting the leaders of the pack. Finally, it levels off, ensuring that no probability exceeds its bounds, much like the protective enchantments around Hogwarts. Let's delve into the details of the softmax function using the lottery ball example, with the scores you mentioned for the red, blue, and green balls. The key point of the softmax function is that it doesn't just take the raw scores at face value. Instead, it transforms them into probabilities in a way that considers the relative difference between each score. Here's what happens step by step. Exponential transformation. Each score is transformed exponentially using the natural base, E. This means that for the red ball with a score of two, we calculate E raised to the power of 2. For the blue ball with a score of 3, we calculate E raised to the power of 3. And for the green ball with a score of 5, we calculate E raised to the power of 5. Amplifying differences. The exponential function greatly amplifies the differences between the scores. Even though the red ball's score is half of the green ball's score, 2 versus 5, after applying the exponential function, the difference becomes much larger. Normalization. We then sum up all the exponentiated scores to get a total. Each exponentiated score is divided by this total to get the probabilities. This step ensures that all probabilities add up to one. Let's apply the softmax function to the scores to see the effect. For the red ball, score of two, e raised to the power of two is approximately 7.39. For the blue ball, score of three, e raised to the power of three is approximately 20.09. For the green ball, score of 5, e raised to the power of 5 is approximately 148.41. Now, we sum these up, 739 plus 20.09 plus 148.41. Result is approximately 175.89. Finally, we divide each exponentiated score by this sum to get the probabilities. Red ball. The score of 739 divided by the total of 175.89 gives us approximately 0.04 which is 4%. Blue ball. The score of 20.09 divided by the total of 175.89 gives us approximately 0.11, which is 11%. Green ball. The score of 148.41 divided by the total of 175.89 gives us approximately 0.84, which is 84%. As you can see, the softmax function has turned the scores into probabilities that reflect the relative differences between the scores. The green ball with the highest score now has a significantly higher probability than the others. This is the magic of the softmax function. It can take a set of scores that represent the relative likelihood of each class, or lottery ball color, and convert them into a set of probabilities that are easy to interpret and use for making decisions. It's true that the softmax function doesn't exactly replicate natural phenomena or behaviors. Instead, it's a mathematical tool used in machine learning to convert a set of numbers into probabilities, which can be interpreted as the model's confidence in its predictions. The softmax function operates on the assumption that the input data can be represented as a probability distribution, 
where each class's probability is proportional to the exponentials of the input numbers. This means that while it can provide a probabilistic interpretation of the model's outputs, it doesn't guarantee that these outputs perfectly match the underlying reality or natural processes. In practice, the softmax function is widely used in classification tasks to help models make decisions based on the data they've been trained on. However, it's essential to remember that the function's outputs are based on the model's learned patterns from the training data, and there's always a level of uncertainty involved. The model's predictions are as good as the data and the patterns it has learned. Therefore, when using the softmax function, it's crucial to be aware of its limitations. It can be sensitive to outliers or extreme values, and it tends to be overconfident in its probability estimates, which can affect the model's performance and the interpretation of its predictions. It's not a guarantee of 100% accurate class separation, and the results should be taken with a degree of caution, especially when making decisions based on these predictions. When discussing the softmax feature and its applications such as weather forecasting, it would be useful to emphasize that these are probabilistic models that provide useful guidance but should not be taken for granted. Predictions are only as good as model data and assumptions. It is always wise to consider other sources of information and use common sense when making decisions based on these predictions. To sum up, the softmax function is a valuable tool for making sense of data, but its output should be interpreted with an understanding of the limitations of the model and the uncertainty inherent in any predictive task. Conclusion, the wizardry of softmax. In our journey through the enchanted mathematics, we've seen how the softmax function casts its spell over numbers, turning them into a meaningful guide for AI. It's a spell that's cast millions of times a day in smartphones, computers, and data centers around the world, helping machines understand and predict our needs. This concludes our special chapter on the softmax function. We hope you've enjoyed this magical mathematical journey. Until next time, keep your wands ready and your minds open. Epilogue. As we draw this discussion to a close, let's distill the essence of the softmax function, a cornerstone in the realm of AI decision-making. This mathematical marvel performs two pivotal tasks with elegance and precision. First, it normalizes input values, such as model-generated scores, into a probability distribution that sums to unity. This transformation allows us to interpret each score as a relative percentage of the whole, simplifying comparisons and decisions. Second, through its exponential nature, softmax accentuates the differences among options. It magnifies the gap between contenders, ensuring that the model decisively identifies the winner, even when the distinctions are subtle. These two missions of softmax are intertwined, working in concert to provide a clear narrative in the complex symphony of AI classification. In the attention mechanisms of transformers, softmax's role is crucial. It brings clarity to the cacophony of data, allowing the true leaders to emerge, much like a spotlight intensifies the presence of a lead actor on stage. It is this dual capability to normalize and amplify that cements softmax as an indispensable tool in AI's arsenal, guiding us through the labyrinth of data with the assurance of a seasoned navigator. Thank you for joining us on AI Talk. This deep dive into the softmax function has, we hope, illuminated its significance and empowered you with a deeper understanding of AI's intricate workings. Stay curious and join us again as we continue to demystify the wonders of artificial intelligence, one concept at a time.